when I was doing a training session last night, one of the students asked, why are you even using a weekly chart? I find these a very interesting and thought-provoking question because my thought is that why aren't you using a weekly chart? I mean, the student was looking at day trading and was surprised that why are you even looking at a weekly chart? If you are looking to really find some explosive trades, then the only one thing I want to share here is why you must look at weekly chart. Hello, I'm Bini here. Today, this video is probably sponsored by my quarry. The key thing is that whether you are a scalper, a day trader or position trader or swing trader, investors or whatever you are, I think the most important thing is to be able to know what is happening at a higher time frame. So how to understand higher time frame? Imagine that, for example, you are standing on a 100 story building. You are able to look at far, but you can't see fine details. So this is what higher time frame is about. When you are trading in the lower time frame, for example, you could be standing on the second story or the third story, you can see the car license plate number very clearly, but you can probably only see that car there. So you don't have that scope, right? Your view is very narrow. You can only see what's up in front of you. A lot of time when you look at a trading method, especially one that is profitable, there's an integration of the higher time frame into the lower time frame. The idea is that you trade the lower time frame because it gives you a faster entry but in the direction of the higher time frame so i'm, I'm just going to give you an illustration of how you can for example look at this stock here which is alibaba if you look at the stocks from the higher time frame point of view then you find very interesting views this is stocks of alibaba 998 listed in the hong kong exchange and few days we've seen price actually rebounded quite substantially the question is that do you know why it went up because from the day chart we've seen that price had been actually moving down so you might be very surprised to know why it's actually moving up now the clue is that as i said if you are looking at the day chart you do see the fine details but if you can switch this into a weekly chart you do see a lot of historical information and that gives you that wide perspective so let's switch that into a weekly chart chart you have a white scope here why is that so because you know that at this point where the price rebounded it was a previous historical low level there was multiple of support level here so there was previously a support level here so that's your s and another one more support level here and that's the reason why now alibaba found a support around this region now since you know why price moves up then we can proceed to go to the daily chart to find entry point and as usual i encourage all of you to go to the higher time frame to look for important price level for example what i did was i switched to the higher time frame again which is the weekly chart i was able to find that there was another one more turning point here so let me just switch that into a line chart to show you this turning point so there was various multiple sub turning points around this region here you see that so there was uh, one here so that's one another one another one so with this i concluded that Okay, potentially the yellow zone is also a very important price region. So by switching between the day and the week, you do find good price levels. So I'm going to switch this back into a day chart. And this is how I've gotten the sub yellow zone that makes up a very important region for me. And right now for Alibaba, price is breaking above this region here. So this could be a possible bullish signal from the technical point of view. Of course, the other way is for you to draw in this trend line so this trend line shows a possible trend reversal if price is to close above the trend line so that could also add on to some bullishness of alibaba if ever it happens and let's continue to find some important key levels of alibaba if price is to move up so i'm right now in the weekly chart again uh, what do i do switch that into a line chart to spot possible turning point i found that there's one possible low here and another one more possible low here plus a couple of highs and highs here so this is where i can spot some nice turning points to help me guide on the price level so if i were to draw in a possible zone to guide on alibaba i would just choose this area here now why would i do that right that's because if you realize this was a possible low and a possible high and a possible low point and that price had a bit of interaction so with this one of the conclusion would be alibaba might have a very strong resistance level somewhere around 85 dollars to 86 dollars so that's where the strong resistance will be right in other words that with looking at the higher time frame the conclusion would be alibaba right now had broken above a strong resistance 
level and that would be around $81 all right and then the next stronger resistance will be about 85 so this is how you can use the higher time frame to get that key price level of course you can continue the cascade such as for example I found another one more level here one more zone here and that would be around the 91 to 92 level why switch that into the higher time frame you found that there are some key interactions along this price levels and that's probably what people are looking at in terms of that support resistance you know that Alibaba is having a earnings on the 3rd of November let me just go to the Warren section and talk about how you can use the Warrens to manage these trades um, right now at warrens.com.sg page and Alibaba happens to be the top movers for today. So click on this Warren selector and you'll be able to select the underlying which is Alibaba and if you are bullish about it then you choose a call Warren. If you are bearish about it you choose a put Warren. As a disclaimer trading Warren is high risk and you can and you might lose all the money that you put in. So for example if you are bullish about Alibaba click the call Warren and it will show you all the Warren that's available here now for myself I will be choosing the one with the fire because this is a trending warren that shows tighter spread as well as having a higher liquidity and sensitivity say for example you think that Alibaba might move to the 85 region here so this is 85 and it might happen in the next two weeks because of the earnings this is where you can use it to understand how much you could potentially be making if you were to get a call warren do note that these are potential gains but if you are trading in the wrong direction you can lose whatever that's displayed here the objective of this video is to encourage all of you to consider switching to the higher time frame to check for important price levels. You find that you get a lot of insights by just moving from your daily time frame to the weekly time frame. All right, I come to the end of this video and I hope that you enjoy whatever that I've discussed here. If you like, remember to subscribe and share this video with your friends, whoever are interested in some short term trading for the Hong Kong stocks.